How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Unity tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a custom button using Canva, where we will basically create a button using Canva. Uh, we'll then import it into Unity, then turn the image that we've created in Canva into a UI sprite, um, apply it to our button, and you can see here, it looks pretty decent. Um, and now you can create your own custom buttons um, and your own custom UI sprites using this technique. So pretty useful. Um, and it still works as a button. For example, I've got highlighted on and you can see it works pretty good. So that's what we'll be doing today. Let's get into it. Alrighty. So the first thing you want to do is just head onto Canva. Um, as you can see here, this is the main homepage. Um, I've actually got the pro version, so I've got a couple of extra features, but you can still use the normal feature as you can still download um, and use some of the elements that they have, but it'll just be their free version. But first you want to do is head on to create a design. We want to then select custom size and we want to just set it to 450 by 450 pixels and then click create design. Sweet. So that'll then open up this page. Um, we want to then go to elements and we can gen just search button and if we just go to graphics you can see we've got a whole list of buttons to choose from here um, and what you can do you can just select one change the color change the font customize it however you like but we've got a whole bunch of different elements here just a note though that the ones with the crown is the pro version so that i have access to this because i've got the pro version on my account but the ones without the crown those are all the free versions so the ones you can use um, you can even draw one if you wanted, if you feel creative. <laughs> um, you could also just, you know, search like a box or something um, and you could use one of these, you know, like that. So there's, there's lots of different things you can search to um, find a button on here. But yeah, the world is your oyster. <laughs> so what you want to do is then select what the one you like. So I like this one. Uh, just make it full length. And then just take a note of the width over there. So it's 450 by 156 that was over there. Because um, we, what we're going to have to do is then resize it to get rid of all this white space over here. So let's just resize this to 450 by 160. Just a little bit above the actual size. And then click resize. And then we would just fill, this, fill the screen out. Cool. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, the reason why we want to make it sure that um, it's, the whole size is filled like this is if we had that free space, when we import the image into Unity, that counts as part of the image. So that'll also count as part of the button. So you'll be able to like click over here and that'll be part of the button, which isn't what we want, especially when you have multiple buttons, they kind of like overlap, they close together. Um, so what you want to do is kind of make it like this. So this, this entirely, this, entire thing over here is exactly what the button would look like um, cool once we're done with that you want to just go share go download make sure it's a transparent background and then just click download now download over here and then you can download it save it to your computer and that's all we need to do on canva awesome now that we're back in unity what we want to do is then import our assets into unity and turn it into a sprite so we just right click here, click import new asset. Um, you want to then select your image that you created. It should look something like this. Um, we then select the image and then go for where it says texture type, just change it from default to 2D and UR sprites and then click apply. And as simple as that, we've just created a Unity sprite from our image. So the next thing to do is go into our scene. We want to then go UR and add a button text pro. Um, should look something like that. We then select our button and we can just simply drag our newly created sprite into the source image over here. And bam, just like that, looking pretty good. Uh, we can then change the text, something like play. Um, maybe we can just change the height a bit so that play fits in there. So let's make that 45. Um, and yeah, everything looks pretty decent. We can change all this um, button interaction stuff. For example, the press color, we can make it green. Um, it will all work like a normal button. For example, if we then go click play, you know, it actually changed the whole image's color. So everything looks, works pretty well. Um, and that's, that's about it. Eh? Um, what you can also do if you didn't, if you knew exactly what your text was going to be and it wasn't going to change, you could actually add the text to this button. 
So you, we could get rid of this um, uh, op, this text mesh probe uh, text here, and we can just have everything within the image, and it would still work. Um, but if you were to change the text for whatever reason for on your button, um, it's better just to keep this this text object. But yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Um, if you like it, please leave a like, subscribe. It means a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.